everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your news shot. Well, all you pet lovers out there, do I have some good news for you? Because according to the Express over in the UK, humans and dogs are going to have conversations within a decade, especially as this technology is developed. And it says an Amazon-backed report claims that the technology could hit the shop within 10 years, and experts in the U.S., are beginning to work on a machine to allow pooches to finally be able to answer the question, who's a good boy? The study co-authored by futurologist William Higgum of The Next Big Thing states that technology is a realistic prospect as the demand for pet-friendly products continues to grow. Mr. Higgum says, innovation products that succeed are based around a genuine and major consumer need. Says the amount of money now spent on pets, well, they're becoming the fur babies to so many people means there is a huge consumer demand for this. Somebody is going to put this together. Now, the report builds on a study by the Northern um, Arizona University, uh, which used artificial intelligence to decipher the call of prairie dogs and found that they have a sophisticated communication system that has all the aspects of language. Author Khan Slobodachikov told the Guardian that uh, they have words for different species and a predator and can describe the color of clothes of a human or the coat of coyotes or dogs. He agreed that pet translators are not far off. He added, so many people would dearly love to talk to their dog and cat or at least find out what they're trying to communicate. A lot of people talk to their dogs and share their innermost secrets. He said, with cats, I'm not sure what they're going to have to say. A lot of times it might just be, you idiot, or just feed me and leave me alone. However, Julianne Kaminsky a psychologist for Portsmouth University who analyzes interactions between dogs and humans, doesn't believe that this is a realistic possibility. She says we would not describe dogs' form of communication as language in a scientific sense. They do give out rudimentary signals of what they think of what they, and how they feel, but not necessarily of what they think is what she's saying. Now, one thing's for sure, uh, me being an animal lover, I could tell you it would be absolutely incredible to be able to have like a universal translator for your pet, let alone somebody else. I mean, I would think that it would probably be a little easier to decipher uh, your pet only because I'm sure the language isn't as um, intricate and complex as say the human language and trying to um, have a universal translator for, uh, you know, across all the, the swaths of languages out there. However, um, wouldn't that just be a cool thing to be able to like put a collar on your pet and then it would absolutely know what it's saying or what it's feeling. Now, oftentimes, uh, animals communicate without voice. You know, sometimes it could be looks, it could be sense, pheromones that are sent out. So a lot has to be done to this technology in order for it to be able to be available to people. But it's certainly cool that people are starting to study and research and look into this. You know, again, with the technology curve accelerating and advancing at such a high rate of speed, Um, I think within the next decade, we will be astounded at what's available at our fingertips. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day.